Here's the number one overall picks of the Colts in their history. Bubba Smith back in 1967, the late Bubba Smith. We all know Elway was first overall back in Baltimore. We found out what happened after that. Jeff George. Let's not forget Jeff George back in 1990. And then a host of picks that didn't work out. Steve Edmond, 1992. And then Peyton Manning. Ending all of the picks that didn't work out for them year after year after year. And there is Andrew Luck now on a cell phone. We are showing this to you just because we know it already. Again, tonight, if we see a draft prospect on the phone in the green room, we are turning away to make sure that you at home do not know before the commissioner announces it who the pick is. We're trying to make sure that this draft is as viewer friendly for you. But since we already know Andrew Luck is the pick and we see him on a phone and he is talking to Jim Ursay on our Colts War Cam, we are showing this moment to you and the Colts have officially made their selection, putting Washington on the clock. Mike Mayock, we're off and running here in New York City. And let's keep one more thing in mind. I'm, I'm thinking about all these trades. I'm not trying to take away from Andrew Luck's moment. But if you're Minnesota... Aren't you actively trying to trade down right now with Tampa Bay? Tampa Bay has got to be sitting there going, we want the corner. We need Morris Claiborne. And Minnesota's going, well, we'll give you Morris Claiborne. you got to give us picks, and we can still come back afterwards and get the tackle or the wide receiver. That's the intrigue that is happening as the formality is about to become a reality for Andrew Luck. With the first pick in the 2012 NFL Draft, the Indianapolis Colts select Andrew Luck, quarterback, Stanford. There we go. He's got to hang up with his boss and hug his mom. A neat moment for a young man of a former quarterback of the National Football League, a former quarterback teammate of Peyton Manning's dad, Archie. He is now getting the pin. His mom is pinning him with the blue horseshoe and the handshakes are all around. As what we've been talking about all last season as Peyton Manning sat out for the Colts, wondering who the Colts would select, what would happen with Peyton Manning's future, what would happen with the number one overall pick, should Indianapolis get it. We are finally here on draft night and Marshall Falk, Peyton Manning's successor, is in fact Andrew Luck with Peyton Manning gone from Indianapolis. It is, and, and from this point forward, Andrew Luck, like I said earlier, has to be Andrew Luck. He cannot be Peyton Manning. He cannot try to replace Peyton Manning. He has to go and be the quarterback that he is, and hopefully Ryan Gregson and the Indianapolis coach can build around this guy the infrastructure that Peyton Manning had. And the interesting thing is, he's not going to replace Peyton in exactly the same scheme and system, even though there's very similar in many ways, he's going to have his own system. Chuck Pagano is going to build around him in a certain way. Maybe he'll be a little bit more balanced to help this kid out. It's going to be a building process. We all know that. But the fans are sophisticated in Indianapolis, and they're going to enjoy the building of this program around this guy. It's important that the system is similar because we have to have at least one of the guys very comfortable right off the top. And that will be Ridge Wade coming back to give Andrew Luck that comfort. Hey, man, let me tell you where to throw this ball, how to make these plays, because it'll help his maturation process, Mike, much faster. Let's take a look at the son of a former NFL quarterback, see what he brings to the table. And first and foremost, play action. Slides in the pocket, moves up, eyes downfield. He is so far ahead of most college quarterbacks in that critical area. He feels the pocket, he slides, play action. Look where his eyes are. Holds the safety, he knows he's coming back to his tight end. Drops it in over the corner, touchdown Stanford. Now, can he? how athletic is this kid? When I tell you it's similar to Cam Newton, look at him open the hips, throw it back to the drag tight end, to his left. Again, to his right. His numbers at the Combine were very similar to Cam Newton's. This kid is an amazing athlete. He's 6'4", 235 pounds. Watch this, Michael. If you don't believe me, watch that. That's him catching the football. Catching the football. One-handed. And he becomes the latest quarterback out of Stanford drafted first overall. Bobby Garrett, first overall pick out of the Browns for the Browns back in 1954. And then, of course, Jim Plunkett. Selected by the Patriots back in 1971. We all know about John Elway 
And that brings us to the present day. Oh, nice John Elway look right there. At least we don't show him as a third baseman for the Yankees, right? But uh, Elway, and then uh, now Andrew Luck, who is an Indianapolis Colt. Interestingly enough, again, the Washington Redskins just made their pick. Oh, four minutes and change into them being on the clock. But Andrew Luck is uh, out there on the stage being introduced as an Indianapolis Colt the day after Peyton Manning's photograph, his large picture on the stadium that he essentially built was taken down. It is truly a new day dawning in Indianapolis as everybody go out and get those uh, Luck jerseys, right? It is, it is, Rich. I, I have my picture taken down, too. <laughs> 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 